there is another spirit. And there is another gospel. And in the faith and belief in another is not the way. For Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You are not okay without Jesus Christ. You are not okay if you say, I just will not listen to that guy. That guy will shut up eventually. You won't be okay. The fact is that you heard that Jesus saved and only Jesus saved. You are without excuse. You cannot say, God, I never knew. God sent a loud mouth preacher for you to know that Jesus saves and no other. There's no other man like the man Christ Jesus. There is no other means of salvation outside of Jesus Christ. Your church can't save you. Your pastor can't save you. The President of the United States can't save your soul. Only Jesus saves. They may be able to provide you a service here, but this service will not save your soul. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There is no sin that God cannot save you from. There is no sin that God cannot wash you from. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow, only through Jesus Christ. You stand here and reject the word of God, reject the preaching of Jesus Christ, God will reject you. God will cast you out as workers of iniquity forever. The fact is, the love of God that he sends a loud mouth preacher to preach the salvation grace of Jesus Christ. It's not the salvation of Democrat. It's not the salvation of Republican. It's the salvation of God Almighty manifested in the flesh, born of a virgin of the tribe of Judah in a city called Bethlehem. And that baby grew up and suffered and died on that cross and came out of that grave. Every man today that goes in that grave won't come out unless by the power of God. Yet Jesus Christ, according to Scripture, three days and three nights, He came out. That fulfills Christianity. Christianity can't be bought. It must believe. Your belief upon the Son of God. That is the only acceptable sacrifice of God, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That is your way to get to heaven. If you have another access to heaven, you're going to find yourself in a downfall. You're going to find yourself in the pit of hell, believing in anything but Jesus. It's that plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe in anything else but Jesus Christ. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. And the books were open. And if your name is not found in the Lamb's book of life, you'd be cast off in a lake of fire that burneth forever. Hell are for those that reject Jesus. You don't go to hell because you're an adulterer. You don't go to hell because you're a murderer. You don't go to hell because you won't work. You go to hell because you refuse Jesus Christ, the penalty of sin by God, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Now lying and stealing, that makes you a sinner. All have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God and being a sinner that you are, which began early in life. That moment you lied to your parents, that moment you stole from your parents, you have been classified as a sinner. And as a sinner, you need to be washed of those sins. And religion cannot wash you of them sins. Doing good works cannot wash you of your sins. Not of works, least any man boast. The fact is the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That is the means that God will approve of your entrance into heaven. And that entrance is by Jesus Christ. 
man Jesus Christ alone. It's a serious business when we talk about death and heaven and hell. The fact is that Jesus spoke and talked more about hell. And the fact is we have the story of Jesus because man, when he dies without the grace of God, without the righteousness of God, when he dies in his sins, when he can be cleansed of his sins through the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world, without that, you will burn in hell. It's a sorry fact, but it's a true fact. People go to hell because they refuse Jesus Christ. With your heart, if you were to put your faith and your trust upon the sins of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, thou shalt be washed. Thou shalt be clean. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow through Jesus Christ. It may not be something important now. You may have other things right now in your mind. I'm trying to get something. Why don't you get what God has to offer you? Salvation. A free gift. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ which can cleanse you, which can put your name in the last book of life and you can be saved. Now salvation is not going to make your life wonderful. It's not going to hear, heal the, the incurable. It's not going to take care of the sickness. It will take care of your destination when you die. Without Jesus, your destination, your reservations are in a place called hell. With the blood and salvation of Jesus Christ, your name will be in the last book of life. And you will have eternal life. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John the Baptist said, he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And that wrath of God is hell. Hell is real. And imagine God Almighty telling you to depart from me and go into hell. The saying of go to hell has no condemnation. But when God tells you to go to hell, that will be forever and permanent with no way to come out. You may be here for second harvest. You must be born again. You must have the second birth. You're not safe. You're not living without Jesus Christ. John said again, He that has the Son has everlasting life. Life begins at Calvary. When you come to that Jesus who has suffered and died on that cross and that blood of God, Acts 20:28, 20, has been spilt out for your sins. And you've trusted that blood. You have trusted in the Son of God who is good. You have put your faith and trust on Jesus. Thou shalt be saved. And when you die, the Bible says to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Entrance into heaven is by Jesus and Jesus Christ alone. There is no substitute. All other things of religion, science, and everything as such is artificial preservatives. And God does not take artificial preservatives for salvation. He takes the blood of Jesus Christ. He doesn't take cash. He doesn't take credit. He doesn't take plastic. He takes the blood of His Son, Jesus Christ, for the payment of sins only. What must you do to be saved is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. It's a free gift. 
God will ask you nothing but belief and faith. God will ask you to do no works, not of works, lest any man boast. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of ourselves. It's the work of God, it's the merit of God, it is the gospel of Jesus Christ that he suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I'm speaking to everybody here. You need Jesus Christ to save your soul, or you will burn in hell. Jesus is the only means to get to heaven. Without him, it's fire, damnation, condemnation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You are here lined up to get something. They are offering you something. And yet God has sent us to preach. He's offering something to you. And it's free. It's everlasting. It will never die off. It will never expire. It will never break. It will never be denied. And that is Jesus Christ. The Son of God. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. No Jesus, no hope. Bible says in Titus 2.13 that Jesus is the blessed hope. And he's coming. And if you were to die in your sins, not wash of your sins, you will be rejected by God. You will be in torments, the Bible says. You will be in the place made for the devil and his angels forever. Never designed for man. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. But men would rather be in their darkness, in their wickedness. It's okay. Because the Bible says many will go to Broadway. Few will enter through the straight gate. That straight gate is life. That straight gate is Jesus Christ. Will you be willing to step out? And we will take a Bible. We will take the Word of God. And we will show you what God expects for you to put your faith and trust in Jesus. Bible. You got one? You can give me a Bible, sir? Um, You're doing a good thing. Thank you. You're welcome. Bible. What's the Bible? Underneath. Uh, they'll get you one. I knew they got one somewhere. Yep. Thank you.